Ah, higher order conditioning. This is something in classical conditioning or respondent conditioning, whichever you'd like to say, where you actually develop multiple layers of condition responses to multiple layers of condition stimuli. Let me explain. So we take a neutral stimulus and we pair it with an unconditional stimulus, NSUS, right? You end up with a condition stimulus that elicits a condition response. That's just your normal classical conditioning. Now you have this condition stimulus, right? So let's take a, a, a neutral stimulus and pair it with that condition stimulus and see if we can get a new condition response or, or, or just another condition response, the same one, even whatever. But the point is, is that a new stimulus based on a condition stimulus can take on the properties of the condition stimulus, which took on the properties of the unconditioned stimulus. You can see why it's higher order here. That's secondary higher order, right? Um, you could also have tertiary, but there's not a ton of evidence for that. So we get the secondary conditioning for sure, a type of higher order conditioning where you got that two layers, a CS, and then up another rung, a CS with another CS, and you get the idea, okay? It's tricky, but it works.